What's going on, Price Law Nation? This is Michael Berto here, founder of Price Law. I got Instagram and YouTube, two different angles. I'll do my best to bounce around between them. I just finished my My Protein Protein Pancakes review. Awesome stuff, especially for the price. But we, uh, in the second batch, I put in a little bit of extra flavoring and sweetening, and that's what we're gonna bust into now. So check out the video on that. And what we did is I added a little bit of this maple flavored Flav drops from my protein. Apparently, this is a big ticket item, especially in the UK. My protein is bringing a lot of stuff over to America. I bought these myself, but we do have a really good Plow 40 coupon code, and I have been completely hooked on one of these flavors. So, really exciting, but yeah, apparently a hot ticket item because they're all sold out, and I needed to wait until we moved into this house, and then the, my, the maple flavor finally arrived. It was on back order, like immediately this stuff sold out. So, everyone, a lot of people apparently know about this. I didn't. So, what we have here is basically a flavoring and sweetening system to add to basically anything. I added four drops. Uh, typically, a serving is like seven to 10 drops. I added only four drops to a uh, serving of the pancakes. Probably could have used like seven of those drops instead, but overall, it adds a little bit of the whatever flavor you're going for. A lot of people mix it, you can mix it with water, you can mix it with coffee is probably the most important thing, oatmeal, uh, the protein pancakes, which is an unflavored, that's an unflavored base right there. So you got to do a little bit of a, give it a little bit of love if you want. And uh, coffee is probably the most popular thing. I've been doing that every day in one of these flavors I am so hooked on. So what we're going to do is we're real quickly talk about the ingredients. There are both natural sweet, stevia sweetened versions, but there's also, uh, I have all the sucralose versions here. And then we'll talk about the ingredients and then we'll do some taste tests. Let's just put a drop on the tongue, see how that goes. And then I have some water and then we're going to do it with coffee. I already know what flavor is my favorite. So, so basically the main ingredient, there's a couple things here, depending on the, the color of them, you might see some caramel color in here. Some people do or do not like that, but just note that that is one of the ingredients. But the main, the main sweetener is going to be sucralose. It's way at the end of the label here. And uh, we don't know the dose or anything like that, but a full serving is about seven to 10 drops. And that sounds about right. Uh, I, I like in my coffee, I, full cup of coffee, like whatever, 10 ounces, 12 ounces. I get away with four or five ounce, uh, drops of this stuff and I'm happy. The main viscosity agent though, is propylene glycol. And so in our blog post, we'll link to it, we talk about that. And uh, what this is, is an ingredient that just, it adds viscosity and thickens things up. Otherwise it'd be real watery. And water is the next ingredient after that. But the thing with this is that it gets broken down into lactic acid and then you flush it out. So if you were to take extremely high amounts of this stuff, like, like five bottles of this stuff, you would uh, probably not be feeling so hot because of lactic acid. Overall though, with like the little tiny drops that we have, I have zero concerns. It's been grass, uh, or generally, re generally recognized as safe since 1973 by the FDA and in the mice, they need like nine grams per pound of body weight, like just like bottles and bottles of this stuff pretty much in order to have um, adverse effects and everything. So overall, not really concerned. I think it's a good ingredient as far as getting the viscosity going and it makes sense. So first off the bat, I have chocolate. And these are all the non-natural ones. White chocolate. <sighs> Maple. And vanilla. And oh, you know what? We gotta do a uh, thumbnail for this. Let's, let's get something here. We gotta do a thumbnail for our little YouTube and Instagram screens. How about this right here? Yeah. <laughs> Flame drops. Okay, ready to go. So Let's start with the light flavors first, vanilla. And so if you, you're gonna see, this is like one of these like fatty droppers that. Ooh. This is a vanilla flavor that I like when, I, I don't know like the, the name of the system or whatever. It's that custardy type of vanilla. When, when protein powders use that vanilla flavor system, I really like it a lot. One drop on the tongue, I'm gonna get fried here. I have a strong. That's a good flavor, but by far and away, my favorite with coffee has been white chocolate. Woo! Vanilla actually tasted way better on the tongue. I think I got two drops in there. So it's a, uh, yeah, that's like a stiff, it's not chocolate. I don't know what it is. I, it's just a very, very sweet enhanced flavor. And it's the aftertaste. I feel like, it's like a vanilla enhanced, like fire I'm breathing. And, I, and I'm not saying spicy fire, just like good breath, like flowers of vanilla coming out. And then I'm gonna go with maple. That's what I use in the protein pancakes. And this one does have the caramel coloring in it. Ooh, I love vanilla, or I love maple flavor. It's not the over the top 
super fake maple flavoring. Some of you may like. It's actually more realistic type of maple flavoring. So it's not as uh, insanely strong as like those uh, those maple leaf cookies. If you like travel to Canada, you got to get the duty free store. I don't get as much of that. And then chocolate. And I kind of pegged where this is. This is like it looks like a thicker one too. This is pure Hershey's syrup style chocolate. It's not cocoa. It's not. It's not dark chocolate, it's not milk chocolate, it's just like Hershey's style cocoa chocolate, like the, the, the liquid, Hershey's cocoa, Hershey's syrup chocolate, that's what it is. And so you gotta be a fan of that, if, you, uh, if you're into that. Now I'm already a little bit zapped here, but we're gonna do, we're gonna add it to a little bit of water here. So that's vanilla, white chocolate, just doing one drop, I got these little cups of water, and then we're gonna, now, let's, now that we have the colored ones here, there's the maple one. Let me see, show this for the YouTube folks out here. Oops. Swirl that. You can see a little bit of the of it dropping to the bottom. So it just it stirs up pretty well and it adds a little bit of color, but it is a little more dense than the, uh, than the water because I do see it sinking to the bottom. And then a quick swirl and it's mixed in. And then finally, chocolate. Let's do the same thing there. I'm making a mess here. Boom, look at that, oh, that just like gelled down to the bottom. And then, so the chocolate actually has more color per, per sip. All right, vanilla. Mm. That's light, I like that. I haven't done this before actually. White chocolate. It's funny, in the water and taking it straight to my tongue, I like vanilla better than white chocolate every single time. But in coffee, I am a white chocolate addict. Maple's not that strong. I almost wish maple was a little bit stronger. And compared to the other doses, you're almost gonna need to like double up on the maple. It's, it's there, but hardly there. I guess that's a safe bet, you could always add more. Mm. Hershey's cocoa. That's hilarious. If you like Hershey's cocoa, the chocolate flavor is all you. And I just spilled about half of mine here. Not that much, but it almost it almost like looks like it's got the consistency of the Hershey's cocoa too. Well, that was too much. Oh man, what was I doing? All right, we're gonna use this coffee mug here. We're gonna pour into four cups here. You know this is gonna make a mess. This rounded edge here. Let's see how good I could do this. Not bad. We'll do one drop per. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. So what I've been doing in the morning is I've been using the white chocolate one and I've been adding in a, a dash of MCT oil and uh, my protein has the MCT boost and then I, I have this little stir thing. It whips it up, which is pretty cool. Not necessary though. Straw could do just as good. With these small things, I'm gonna use one more drop. Vanilla, I'm the, oh geez, that was two drops. I think this is my last review of the day. Chocolate's gonna go last on the right one. One drop. So chocolate sounds good. So one of the Instagram commenters was talking about uh, the mocha flavor, which I don't think has hit the States yet. It's one of our European followers. And apparently the mocha flavor is really good in coffee. And I think that's what maybe some of you are gonna be going for. Because the Hershey's cocoa, uh, to me it doesn't really work. Or the Hershey's cocoa syrup, to me that doesn't work as well in coffee. So I don't have a straw here. I guess I'm gonna use my little stirring rod thing here. Stir that up. You know it's good when you can get nasty old microwaved coffee tasting good again. That right there is the vanilla. I don't think I need more stimulants right now, but it's happening. Second, my favorite. It's just so much smoother. The white chocolate in coffee, it smooths out the bitterness of the coffee. It's really, really unique. Mm. Yeah, I stand by that assessment. Now maple, if you notice, I dropped two drops of maple into this. Mm. I dropped two drops of this because it just seems like it needs a little bit more strength. It 
it's okay. It doesn't work with coffee. That's fine. It's maple. But if you're gonna do it with the protein pancakes, double up, seven, eight, nine per serving of drops. And then here's the chocolate. Really good as a, like I said, Hershey syrup replacement. Usually doesn't work in coffee. And at this point, I'm zapped. <laughs> well, fun. So overall, my protein flavor drops. You'll have to subscribe to Priceline.com slash my protein, or even just sign up for the alerts on the flavor drops page itself because uh, it seems like there's a lot more flavors in Europe and they're slowly coming out, coming in. Well, I didn't do any of the stevia reviews, so maybe I'll do another one of those with the natural ones uh, if they come back in stock. But they put this stuff out and then immediately like sold out. So apparently I'm the last one on the block to figure this out. But these things are fantastic. White chocolate, my flavor of choice. Vanilla is next. Chocolate's good if you want that Hershey syrup. And then finally, maple, but you gotta go extra strong on the maple. I wish it was a little bit stronger because I'm a maple, fake maple junkie. And that's it. So Mike Roberto with PriceBall, uh, PriceBall.com slash MyProtein, sign up for the alerts. And you might be wondering what this is over here if you're watching on IGTV. My protein is the coffee boost. And that's the next review to do where we will probably introduce some of these flavor drops as well. And this is just a straight up dehydrated coffee with added dynamine. And that means we're getting 150 milligrams of caffeine from the coffee with 75 milligrams of dynamine. For those of you who coffee just ain't enough anymore. I'm Mike Roberto, check out price.com slash buy protein, plow 40 coupon code. Yes, there is an affiliate relationship, but I pay for these myself and they're damn well worth it. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Price Plow.